All right, guys, it's time for another exciting bicycle showcase. And today we are going to be featuring the Roscoe kids version. Yeah, look at that sick bike. Let's get on topic. Perfect. Hey everybody, it's Thomas with Get Out Arizona and you're watching another exciting episode of Bicycle Showcase here on Toolbox Topic. I'm joined once again by my co-host, Kale. Shh. I won't say anything. Shh. Not Showfield, Shoffy. not Shoffy. Shoffy. I like Shoffy. What is it? Schaffner. Schaffner. God damn it. <laughs> I'm not even going to start the video over. Schaffner, Schaffner, Schnaufer. I got it. Like Shatner, but Schaffner. <laughs> There we go. And you wonder why we can't get past 90 fucking subscribers. Anyways. Jesus. Anyways, today we're talking about the Roscoe. Um, but this is the kids version of Roscoe. So this is a very trail capable mountain bike for the youth segment. Yeah. Um, and we've done a youth episode um, as far as bikes and gear and everything like that. I'll leave the link and uh, car description uh, right above. Kale. What's the age range for this bike? Uh, it's less of an age range, more of a height range. Okay. Um, so this thing goes up to about 410. 410? Yeah. Okay. Um, they do make a smaller version as well for the littler shredders out there. Okay. Um, and that's the Roscoe 20. This is the Roscoe 24. So okay. So you have the 24-inch plus size tires on here. Okay. Yeah. Now, this looks like it's, it's pretty well equipped. I yeah. mean, seriously, we got some disc brakes going on. Mm -hmm. Now, are these going to be hydraulic or cable discs? This is a cable or mechanical. Disc okay, so yeah, these are mechanical, mechanical. disc brakes. Um, We've got a one by drive train. One by eight, yeah. One by eight, okay. Um, yeah, I was all like, what do you mean one by eight? One by 12, but it's for the kids, so they really don't need 12 speeds as yeah. far as that goes. Now, and as a side note, so the height on this is 410. Mm -hmm. So if you're a midget, this could be your mountain bike too, don't forget, or just a vertically impaired individual. There's yeah. a lot of you out there, and I feel for you because there's not a lot of quality rides for the road or the trail. So this might actually suit somebody in all seriousness who is short? Yeah. Five foot or shorter, you know? So it's an option. Don't be afraid that it's a youth bike. Um, what group is on here? What group does Trek put on these youth bikes? So this is just your regular Shimano tourney drivetrain. It's okay. nothing super special. Um, but the nice thing about it is it's going to keep the weight down by having that one by eight system. So right. although you have all those gears, it's not as heavy for people who can't lift up as much like a child. Right. Um, on top of that, the tourney drivetrain Honestly, for how low end it is um, of a Shimano drivetrain, it shifts so well for so long, and we don't know why, but it is an awesome drivetrain. If they made one for an adult bike, I'd honestly ride it. Nice. So they basically made an indestructible drivetrain for the kids. Yes. But they fucked adults. Yes. Okay. Well, and that's Shimano for you, so go figure. No, I'm joking, <laughs> guys. I've been riding Shimano and Tram for a while. It just sometimes works out that way, but that's good. For a parent buying this bike, they know that it's going to handle whatever a child is yeah. going to throw at it. So now I have to ask, is there any upgradability on this bike? Can you do a dropper post? If there, I know they make a 60 millimeter dropper post now, but is that an option? Can you upgrade the derailleur if the derailleur, you know, box out on you? What can you change on this bike um, other than the grips in the seat? <laughs> derailleur, you could, uh, could upgrade, yeah. Um, Shimano makes a lot of um, seven to eight speed stuff. Okay. Um, so there's definitely some upgradability there. Um, probably don't want to since it does have that sweet turny drivetrain right, on there. Right, right. Um, brakes, um, you could technically put a hydraulic brake on there. Um, wouldn't see any issue with that. Um, and then really that's all you need. Um, it's not going to go tubeless, unfortunately. Um, dropper post won't quite work in there. Um, yeah, you'd have to do a 60 mil and even yeah. then you'd be hard pressed to actually get that to work properly. Yeah. But I mean, you could shoehorn it in there if you want to. Yeah. Just a spit on it with a little bit no i'm joking that's a different that's a different episode guys <laughs> got off got off track got off topic there for a second holy smokes um now i find it interesting with shimano going with mechanical brakes and i know you got to keep mm -hmm. the price point down we'll talk about that here in a minute but for the littles it seems like they'd have an easier time engaging a hydraulic disc brake than they would a mechanical system um is this smooth, smooth enough operation for the kids to really get a good bite on that disc and they're going to have adequate stopping power or is that something that the kids kind of need to work up to? Yeah, that's kind of a common kind of misconception in the bike community in my mind. Um, 
you can get a mechanical disc brake feeling just as good as a hydraulic disc okay. brake. You just got to adjust it correctly. Okay. Um, hydraulics will stay adjusted for longer um, just because mechanicals have that cable stretch and stretch. that sort of thing. But no, a kid's going to easily grip this. Um, you can actually dial those levers in just like a hydraulic brake. So if your kid has littler fingers um, and they can't reach quite as far, you can bring that back. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Well, that's good to know. And the price point on this is amazing. Was it like 540 bucks? bucks? How much? 540 bucks. 540 bucks. So we kind of go back to one of the previous episodes on Bicycle Showcase where we were talking about the uh, Excalibur 8. Mm -hmm. It was $1,500. And though that isn't cheap, it's a great value for what that bike is. Correct. Now, again, I made the comment, and it was snarky, but it was true. You could go to Walmart and pay $600 on a POS bike there and have no upgradability, a frame that's going to be jankily weld together, um, and it's going to fall apart on you. Same thing, you could go to Walmart and spend you know, $250, $300 on a child's a youth's mountain bike, but it's certainly not gonna have the build quality or the ability to replace parts, upgrade some of the parts, um, the adjustments you know, that you can make on the existing parts. So you kind of have to look at it in that sense. Yes, $600 is expensive for a kid's bike. I'm not gonna say it's not, but what you're getting for that $600 in a bicycle that'll last your child as they grow mm -hmm. to a point where now maybe they've outgrown this, you can hand it down to another kid, you know, give it to your friend's kid, your neighbor's kid, sell it, whatever. Um, this is gonna be a quality bike that's gonna last yes. them through that growing process. So, all right, um, got some Bottle for a water bottle, for a water bottle cage and everything like that. This is actually a really nicely equipped bike, Kale. And I I'm will point out impressed. one thing, if you don't mind. Sure. Um, I'm sure a lot of people are saying, oh, we're saying it's mountain bike, but there's no suspension port. That is true. It is a rigid mountain bike. Um, the reason they do that is kids generally aren't heavy enough to compress the suspension on an entry-level oh, mountain good bike. Point. So what they did instead of putting a uh, suspension fork on there is they put a wider tire that gives you more stability by having that wider footprint on the ground. And on top of that, it does offer a little bit of suspension in itself in that air in the tube. Nice. Kale. That, uh, wow, I'm impressed, dude. <laughs> I almost take back all the things I said about you. <laughs> a lot of them at this point, but, you know, not some of them, but, you know, joking. He is definitely a smart kid, seriously. I wouldn't associate with him if he wasn't. So he doesn't know his <laughs> stuff about bikes, trust me. I've raised two of my own. I'm done dealing with that stuff, though. I'm joking, guys, joking. But, no, seriously, that is yeah. a very good point because when people think mountain bike, these days, mm -hmm. they think at minimum front suspension, if not right. full suspension. So that's a very good point. You know, unless unfortunately a kid has diabetes because he's a freaking, you know, a chunker, and then sure, get him a front suspension fork. But yeah. if not, the tires are going to work just fine. What? Some kids are fat. Why? You're over there laughing and everything. It's baby it happens. Weight. It's baby. It's weight. baby. They'll weight. lose it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. This is all in fun. Nobody get their panties in a bunch as far as that goes. So, but seriously, guys. All right. So, availability. There's one out on the floor. This one. How many more do you have in stock? And what is the ordering? Uh, uh, not back deadline. Orders. Back order as yeah. far as this goes. So I know we have I think four or five in store. Okay. Not necessarily in this color, but right. there are other colors as well. Okay. Um, and then as far as back order is kind of the standard thing right now. I think kids' bikes are a little better. I want to say we're probably looking around somewhere around four months. I mean, oh, it's still man. out there, but okay. um, yeah, definitely something. If you put on order, we'll get it and have it all built ready for you. Okay. Awesome. Well, there you have it guys, the kids, Roscoe, and this is for a child that uh, is shorter than 410. Now, what would you say the minimum height on this bike is? We, we talked about the max height, but before we go, what would you say the minimum height is? It's kind of hard to say because a lot of people like to size down quite a bit just because they want their kid to have that entire growth period. Right. Um, so I wouldn't really worry about a minimum, minimum height because there's a lot of things we can do to shrink this bike so that it'll last the kid as long as possible. Okay. Cut down the seat post, cut down the bars, just make it so that your kid can start on this bike. Uh, then by the time that they are up there, we'll just kind of put back on a longer seat post and put on some longer bars, which is cheaper than buying a new bike. Absolutely. And it'll keep them riding for a while. See, there you go, guys. And this is why I come to Trek Bikes because they're always thinking about your pocketbook so you don't have to. Right, joking guys, but seriously, <laughs> good group of guys here. All right guys, on that note, there you go, Bicycle Showcase, Kids Roscoe. Come down and check Bicycle Store of West Phoenix in Goodyear, Arizona to check it out. If you're local, you can go online and check it out on trek.com. Mm -hmm. um, check out your local store if you're not in Arizona and you're watching this video, because I always say support your local businesses every chance you get. There's gonna be some links down below course one to check bicycle store west phoenix in goodyear arizona two to copper state bike and hike in estrella arizona 
And, you know, it's great because it's a bike rental shop. Mm -hmm. You can demo bikes if you're in the market and you're looking one. It's a great place to go. Check out, rent for a day, and see if you actually like what you're thinking about buying. Um, there's also going to be um, the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell notification icon. Make sure you hit those, please. It helps out the video and the channel immensely, and you will be uh, kept informed of all the videos when they first post. Well, this has turned into a, just a dumpster fire, and I don't feel like re-recording it, but I was going to say the good videos, the bad videos, <laughs> <laughs> and the ones that are, you know, eh, just kind of middle-of-the-road videos, but definitely help us out. We really appreciate the support and everything. And on that note, that's it. So, Kale. Thanks for joining us on this Thanks episode of Bicycle Showcase. See, we'll get Kale awake and not hungover. He's going to be a regular <laughs> fixture here at Toolbox Topic. I, I got a feeling about this. So, all right, guys, what do we always say? Be kind to yourself and others. Be amazing stewards out on that trail. And we have to ask, what are you waiting for? Get out, Arizona. Nice. Yeah. We'll see you on that next adventure. Take care.